Well, this is the last project. When we are done here, you will have created your first AutoCAD model and drawing sheets. So open up your project file and let's start working in it. Go to the Dimension tab. Make sure that the text layer is your current layer. We're going to put some text inside our title block. Now, this block isn't set up for good attributes, so we're going to have to insert our own text. Go to the Annotate tab, pick the multi line text. Pick a point here for project name and create a window. You can do it in all caps if you like, or you can do it in lower caps. I'm going to put mine in all caps. We're going to give this a name. I'm going to call it Movie House. Well, this isn't really tall enough, so I'm going to change the style that I've used for it. I don't want it to be notes, I want it to be title. And let's put it in a different justification. I'm going to make it middle center, that way it centers it inside our area. And there we go, that's good. And let's put in some more notes here. You can put in the day's date. Mine is May 25th, 2012. I'm going to also put in the scale for our drawing. The scale is going to be one quarter inch to a foot. Now, I'm going to turn off this auto stacking because it's going to stack our fractions up, and I don't want it to do that. This is the way I want it to look. One quarter inch equals one foot. And now this is going to be sheet one. Let's justify this with the middle center. And let's change the style again to a title. There we go. Now we know a little bit about it. Let's add some basic dimensions. Let's make sure that our current layer is the dimension layer. We're going to use the dimensions layer with an S. Go back to the annotate tab and make sure we're using the architectural project style and we'll put in some basic dimensions. Dimension our walls. Just some overall bits of information. Remember, let's use our continuing here. I don't want a dimension from there, so I'm going to select this one, and I'm going to put it dimension to the end here. And we'll put in one more overall dimension here and here. When you're dimensioning, you'll do a lot of zooming in and zooming out and panning. Give a double check of some of our dimensions, make sure they look okay, make sure we did it correctly, and that looks good. So there's a drawing. It has the movie house. It has some overall dimensions. That's a valid drawing. Make sure you save your work. And let's make another drawing. Right click on the Dimension tab and say Move or Copy. Now we want to copy it, so check the Create a Copy and then Move to End because we want to put it at the end, that really won't matter. Click OK. Now click this Dimension tab. Now this one we want to be called Dimensions, so we're going to rename it but we also want this one to be renamed as well. So let's rename it, and let's just call it Overall. You're going to find out that this is going to happen. You'll have an intention for a drawing, and then it sort of changes throughout the life cycle or lifetime of a project. That's okay. Let's go here, and we're going to rename this one Dimension. Double click inside this viewport. Make sure it's locked. You see the scale is at one quarter inch equals a foot. Let's go to the Home tab. And let's freeze our plants and our chairs. Press Enter, and let's go back to paper space. Now let's throw on a lot more dimensions, because right now we really don't know what's going on. So we're going to need some room here. Select our dimension here, and let's drag it out some more. Now, we saved ourselves a lot of time by copying this tab. 
we had a drawing set up. We went to a lot of work and effort to set everything up. So why go to that effort again? We just copy it and it makes a, another totally brand new drawing based off of the other one. So we can use the features that are already set up, the information that's put into our title block and everything else that's there. We don't have to redo the things that are redundant. So for now, we can see Movie House. So everything else is the same, except now this is, double click the text, it's now sheet two. We can even add to the title, movie house, dimensions. Let's finish adding in the rest of our dimensions. We'll start here and we'll dimension to here. I wanna show where all of our walls go. We'll use our continuation here and we'll put in our windows. Now, you see how easy this is? It's cutting down my clicks in half by using the continuation method. I don't have to pick my first point, I can just pick my second point and it keeps going and it builds up on top of each other. Let's do the same sort of thing here. And we'll use the continuing option one more time. There we go. We'll throw in some dimensions for the internal walls. And we'll do one here as well. With my running O snaps, it gives me the ability to draw very quickly. I don't have to type in what I want to dimension to. And there we go. Let's dimension down here one more time. And continue. And you've probably noticed that we do a lot of the same thing over and over again. And that's true. You're gonna find out that that's fantastic too because the tools in AutoCAD are made to help us do the same things over and over and over again, but with fewer steps. If we were drawing this by hand, there's no way we could draw this all out this quickly. Nor could we reproduce a second identical drawing in order for us to just quickly do some things differently. But there you go, there's your project. You worked very hard to do this. You learned how to use these different tools how to draw your line work, how to manage it in model space, and how to create your file one step at a time until you can finally make this whole project. So you can start with what you have here and sketch up some dimensions around your house. Take measurements on the outside, on the inside, and you can draw a complete floor plan that's completely accurate of your house with everything that you've learned here today. Maybe you want to go build a project, a birdhouse, a dog house, or extend onto your own house. With the tools you've learned here today, you can do that. Congratulations, and thank you very much.